you begin to look at yourself, you got to redefine yourself. Who are you right now? And who must you become in order to create what you want? What has to change about you? What is it that you're doing right now that would be a liability for you? As you begin to look toward the future and take inventory of yourself, what is it about you right now that you've got to leave this behind? Because this no longer fits. Looking at where you want to go and the kind of person that you must become, the kind of standards that you have for you, what is it that you must do differently? So unless you change your pattern, unless you change the way you're thinking, unless you change your behavior, you're going to continue to produce the results in your life. See, all of us are winners, but some of us are producing results that we don't want. And so all you have to do is look at your game plan, look at your strategy. How is it that you have been being? What is it that you've been doing to produce this? See, you're the director, you're the producer, you're writing the script, you're the star of your life. And as you begin to look at your life, you can decide whether or not it's a smash or whether or not it's a flop. That's in your hands. I know living that if you quit whatever you're trying to accomplish if you quit whatever you were trying to accomplish can never happen there's not even a remote possibility if you quit there is no chance of it popping back up again coming back later quitting is guaranteed failure so get outside of yourself, get uncomfortable with yourself, and find out more about who you really are and what you're made of, and then you'll go to the level you need to be, and then go beyond that level. It's no other way. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You can't live in LA and wake up at eight o'clock in the morning. It's 11 o'clock on the East Coast. The stock market been open two hours. They already making decisions about your life and your ass will sleep. The Bible says he who loves to sleep and the folding of hands, poverty will set upon you like a thief in the night. And you have to have a spirit of optimism. You have to have a, a kind of energy that says, it's not over until I win. You want to get fired up about your new future. You want to turn that tell-lie vision off and get moving in the direction of the next greatest version of yourself. Because you have greatness in you and you cannot find, you cannot tap into that greatness operating within your comfort zone. When you're willing to bet on you, when you're willing to become a risk taker, this God said, if you're not willing to risk, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't become your best. And if you can't become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? Don't give up on anything that you're trying to be better at. If you're focusing on things that you cannot control, then guess what? You are never going to be in control. There are things that you can control and there are things that you cannot control. But one thing for sure, you better not give up. You better not give up on pushing yourself. You better not give up on your dreams. You better not give up on being the best makeup of yourself. You cannot wake up every morning thinking that every day is going to belong to you. There are going to be those days when you just want to just say, nope, not today. I don't have it. I'm not going to be good at it. The best thing you can do is to continue to move forward. Even when it's tough, even when it's hard, you got to continue to move forward. The biggest mistake that people make is when it gets hard for them, they want to give up. They want to throw in the towel because they feel that every day is supposed to be a good day for them. But guess what? Every day is a good day because you're above ground and not under it. So keep that in mind, people. Don't let quit tell you what to do. Don't get that mindset to want to give up. Don't give up. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen to that little voice. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the project. Get out of bed. 
As an overall rule, I do not like procrastination. You need to get things done. You got to get uncomfortable with yourself. You can't be comfortable and get to a level that you want to go and expect to get what you want if you stay at one level. It just doesn't work like that. Most people are comfortable with themselves. They like what they are. They like who they are. You don't necessarily have to like where you are. You should love yourself, no doubt. And you should appreciate where you may be right now, but there's a certain point in time where you've just got to go a little bit further. Nothing necessarily changed, but it evolves. Everything evolves. Why are you waiting to get to that level? Why are you waiting to take it to the next level? Why are you comfortable just staying where you are? Think about it for a moment. You want something out of life, but you're not willing to work for it. You want to get to a certain level in life, but you ain't willing to go get it and go out there and go do what you got to do to get to where you want to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not something that is going to happen overnight. You got to put your work in so you can get something out of it. And if you're not willing to get that, you're never going to get anything anyway. It doesn't necessarily have to be fitness related. It's everything that we do in life. Our goal is to go up, not down. We want to continue to excel. You don't want to get yourself in a position where you're regressing, but you want to go into a position where you're progressing. Once you've accomplished something, you don't just stay there. You get outside of that and go to the next level and then go to the next one. You keep pushing yourself until they put you in the ground. Until they put you in that ground and put those rose petals on your box, you got to keep on moving. You got to keep on moving with a purpose. What do you want me to tell you? That it's going to be a picnic? No, it's not. It's going to kick your butt? Yes, it is. Are you going to want to die? Yes, yes, that's a part of it. But that's just what you must go through in order to get where you want to go. And guess what? You are strong enough to do it. You're strong enough. And your life is worth whatever you have to go through to get past this addiction. Whatever you have to do. This dream you got, whatever you want to do, will it be easy to just run out there and do it? No. Will it happen overnight? No. Will it be a struggle? Yes. Will there be times when you can't make ends meet? Yes, that's a part of it. Now, when you're trying, you're going to fail. But quitting, just stopping, that was the number one thing I understood. And then number two, you have to make sure that your dreams your aspirations and goals are so big that not accomplishing them is not an option. It's just not an option. And I also want you to know that the fact that you're still alive and still on this earth, even though it's been challenging and rough, and sometimes you get discouraged and uninspired to keep going, God has a plan. You will grow through what you go through. Everything that you're going through, at some point, it makes no sense to you right now. But at some point, God is going to reveal to you why all of these issues, challenges, and problems continue to show up and what you were supposed to learn from it. You will grow through what you go through. Don't give in. Don't give in to certain circumstances. Circumstances are going to come. We go through these things for a reason. It's just building you up. It's helping you to build character. It's helping you to understand that one day you're going to have to face something and you're not prepared to face it because you haven't been through enough to face it. So every day of your life when you wake up, just know you got to be ready to fight when you need to fight. And you got to be ready to live as hard as you strong and possibly as you can because that's all you have. You got one life. Live the life that you have. Live it to the fullest. Be the best person that you can be. He knows what's happening. He sees what's unfair. When you stay committed to your job, when you keep being your best day in and day out, despite who doesn't like you, God will make it up to you. God is your source. He has the final say. Well, Joel, it's difficult to stay committed to my job, committed to my marriage, committed to this dream, nothing's going my way. If it was easy, everyone would do it. God chose you because he knew you can handle it. You have the courage, the strength, 
the talent, the anointing. You're not weak. You're not lacking. You are full of can-do power. You didn't come this far to stop now. The people that see dreams come to pass are the people that stay committed. I've heard it said, on the road to your destiny, halfway through, every person will be tempted to give up. Some turn around and go back. The others stay committed and keep moving forward. What's interesting is both people travel the same distance. One goes halfway back to where they started. The other goes halfway ahead and reach their goal. Committed people outlast the difficulty. Committed people stick with the relationship even though they have a right to walk away. Committed people go the extra mile and do more than they have to. Is there an area you've been tempted to give up in? Or just slack off, not be your best? God is saying, stay committed. Stay faithful. Stay loyal. Committed people reach the fullness of their destinies.